So LAPD officer Dion Joseph is also with us in his personal capacity, not on behalf of the of the department. Sir, thank you very much for being here. Uh, when you listen to the dad of Brianna Kupfer, and I think we have some more pictures of her because it's just absolutely tragic that this young life was snuffed out. But she is not the only young person to lose their life, as I just showed 21 people under the age of 18 in New York City whose lives ended too soon. You have two teenagers in Chicago last weekend uh, who were killed. And, you know, I think that one was suggested to be part of gang violence. But even if, if you know, these young people have joined a gang, they're, they're young. They don't deserve to lose their lives. They shouldn't be in that gang in the first place. So what are we doing and how much help are you getting at the state level from your leadership in California and from the national level at the DOJ? Well, once again, public safety is a cornerstone for anything you want to do, whether it's helping the homeless, helping the children, helping the mentally ill. And what happened is our elected officials took a hands-off approach and basically said, okay, we're going to give the criminal element one inch. But we already know, based on human nature, that when you give the criminal element one inch, they're going to take 10 yards. And from yard one to yard 10, there are precious lives that get lost, people who get raped, people who get hurt, their property gets destroyed, and yes, precious young lives. So really, we have to invest back in crime control again. They tried to say that law enforcement and crime control was the systemic failure. They cannot be argued anymore at this point with crime going up. We were not the systemic failure. The systemic failure is our, uh, unfortunately, many of our elected officials, elected officials, who put their finger in the air for the wind to blow, went the wrong way. You, you should have been on blue. We want to help people. So uh, the Department of Justice announced back on December 20th $1.6 billion in funding to reduce violent crime and strengthen communities uh, and to mm -hmm. get guns off the street. Are you seeing that money coming through, and wh what's it being used for? Well, personally, I, I'm not seeing it, but just the fact remains, that no matter what you try to do, no matter how, many much, how much money you throw at a situation, and that's been proven with homelessness, with every other issue that they try to solve by throwing money at it, that if public safety is not at the cornerstone, it's going to fail. Where I work, they have 108 programs to help people struggling with homelessness. So why are they still struggling to end homelessness? Why are people in those programs still struggling to get clean? And that goes the same with social programs. Okay, you want to put money into a program to get kids off the streets, but what kid is going to go to that program when they know that now, based on the laws, they can go make thousands of dollars a day selling drugs or engaging in crime, and they're not going to be penalized for it? So you don't have to divest from one and, and invest in another. You can invest in both crime control and services and actually have us all working in a synergetic fashion to help make things better. But that's not what's happening. They're making the police the enemy, and that has failed. Bingo. So in the end... Public safety is the cornerstone for everything we want to do. And, and no that's what, what the families who live in these cities want for their young children. They don't want them to end up in gangs. Uh, they don't want a, an unstable, mentally ill person to walk in while this kid is trying to make some money after school and to stab her to death. And she's never, you know, going to be able to see the rest of her life or see her family again. Um, so that, that's what matters. We've got to make sure that law enforcement knows that we have their back and throwing money at the problem isn't necessarily working at this point. Um, uh, Dion Joseph. Yeah, thank you, sir. Take care. You bet. Always good to see you. Thank you very much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.